it's Monday morning and I'm working from home as always and here's my breakfast so I've got one of the muffins that I prepped at the weekend so this is bacon egg a little bit of cheese on an English muffin and I've just reheated it in the air fryer I did think the bacon might go a bit crispier in the air fryer but because I've wrapped it in foil to put it in for five minutes it's not really changed it very much so this is what I'm having for breakfast and I shall catch you later Here's my lunch. So the chicken, the sweet potato and the brussels I'd already tracked and um, I'd prepared, prepared them as part of meal prep. I've just added three katsu fluffles. So the, the reduced fat beetroot coleslaw from Marks and Spencers and because it needs eating and just a wedge of iceberg lettuce like you get in Miller and Carter. <laughs> and that's my lunch. Lighting's rubbish in here but it's night time now and I logged off work around six-ish and I went to a funeral tonight. I know it sounds a bit weird having a funeral at night, but the lady in question was um, one of my dad's friend's wives and she's flying back to Ireland to actually be buried. So they had a mass over here tonight and we had like a little get together in the church hall after. And it's the first thing like that I've been to since my dad's funeral. So it's very emotional and I got very, very upset and brought back lots of memories, <laughs> but I'm glad I went it was lovely um eddie made tea and i've just realized i've got halfway through it and I haven't recorded it so i'll show you what's left so this was one of those fish in tempura batter and then oh, oh no actually it was the lemon pepper one homemade chips done in the active fry and there was some peas i'm probably not going to eat all of those so i'm actually quite full now i'm going to finish my fish though because i do want to eat that i did have a sneaky little roll and a little sausage roll and a little slice of cake at the wake after the funeral. The sausage roll was winking at me for ages and I decided to give in because it was it looked like a really nice spread. So I did have a couple of bits from that, but I've had a really good day today. I had obviously my meal prep for breakfast and lunch and obviously this is healthy too. So a really good day, I'm really pleased and uh, I shall catch you tomorrow. Intelligent, can't remember. It's raining. That's fucking cool. That's cool. <laughs> Home for the next two nights. So this is a travel lodge super room in London Central Tower Bridge. And we get a little coffee machine. An iron. I'm very out of breath from walking. It's a hair dryer. TV. You just put cakes right in the middle of where I'm trying to walk. Nespresso machine. I just said that. Oh, did you? <laughs> and power plugs with charging slots. Oh, and the bathroom. Oh, that's good. There's a toilet. <laughs> and a shower. the wet soggy me from the rain <laughs> up for miles I'm not bothered because I did it last time that um does that just stay here yeah HMS Belfast, yeah. There's London Bridge. Can't see your chips because they've got a wrapping on. Oh, it's good friday and it's the last day in london we're back on the half three train so 
We've had a slow start today, both feeling really tired. I haven't even got up yet, so I look a bit of a mess. But it's been a couple of very, very long days and I've been shattered. So I woke up ridiculously early because I needed to wake Ewan up, so I rang him up. And then I sat in bed for a bit and then I went back to sleep. So it's currently like 25 past nine. I've just made us both coffee. And I thought I'd just show you what I got from the bakery in Chinatown for us to have for a little quick breakfast snack before we go out today. We had the breakfast in the travel lodge yesterday and neither of us were particularly impressed with it. So it was all right. It was £10 each and it was like unlimited, but it wasn't like a traditional sort of like hot buffet. It was like brought out and was standing. So the egg was like really like, I don't know. It was like blocky scrambled egg rather than it being like fresh, nice scrambled egg. Um, they'd run out of hash browns when I was getting my breakfast. Um, and there was bacon, sausage, tomato, and then beans were real faff to try and get beans because they were in this like urn that was covered. They did have like bagels and stuff, so it was all right. And there was cereal, but I wanted porridge. They had no porridge, and the fruit juice machine wasn't working, so they hadn't even got cartons of fruit juice out. So we both decided that today we weren't going to bother. Um, I think the plan is to he head over to Camden. There are things going on with the tubes today, so we're hoping we can get there okay and get over to the train station in time, but. I'll quickly show you what I'm having for a snack to tide us over. So this is from the Chinatown Bakery and I've got a custard bun. I think this is a pineapple one and I can't remember what this one's called. If anyone's watching knows what that is. I can't find the life of me remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, they all look very tasty so we're going to have half of each each with our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> thought I'd just pop on to video, uh, video film a close out for this video. I'm just editing it and realised I didn't do any kind of close out. Um, we were at the train station and had a Starbucks with our cheesecake donut, and it was lovely. But it really was like the calm before the storm. Um, we made our way with plenty of time through to our train and quickly realised that there was mayhem at the train station, that they'd done some engineering works on the West Coast main line and all the passengers that were due to go on the West Coast had to be moved over to the East Midlands rail team. So um, they'd got barriers up and it was just like a massive crush of people waiting to get through the barrier. Wouldn't let us through the first barrier to start with. Then they let us through the first barrier to the second barrier, but we were behind a load of people that were supposed to be getting late and training in hours. There was no organisation whatsoever. They didn't put anyone into any kind of lines. Um, and then we heard over the tunnel, there were telling people that should have been getting this Corby train, but were going to Leicester to get onto the, the train that we were booked onto because it was seven carriage trains, plenty of room. Um, and obviously they wanted to free the other train up for the people coming over from the, the closed uh, West Coast main line. And in doing so, they stopped everyone that should have been getting on and had seats booked onto the 1535 train um, because the train was full. <laughs> so it was a nightmare. We pushed our way to the front because we got loads of people, like I say, in front of us that weren't due on our train. And they weren't due to, they were due like on the 430 train or something. Tried to push our way through, got to the front and they closed the barrier. So we had to get a later train. Um, luckily our tickets were honoured on the later train but as you can imagine the train was rammed we were quite fortunate that because we were then at the front of the barrier we managed to get a seat straight away but some people weren't so lucky and lots of standing and sitting on the train and lots of very very disgruntled unhappy people and whoever had the genius idea of doing engineering works on a train line over an Easter weekend when everybody's going to be travelling is just a lunatic <laughs> to be quite honest um, there was loads of tube engineering works as well, which you can kind of understand in the city because obviously a lot of people are off work, it makes sense to do it then. So you, you don't mind that so much and you can kind of navigate around it. We were quite fortunate that we walked all the way around to Bank Station from where we were and we got onto the Northern Line and the Northern Line was unaffected. So we managed to get to Camden easily and then on up to King's Cross St Pancras quite easily. So it wasn't, we weren't affected by the tubes at all. Um, but yeah, the trains were a nightmare, absolute nightmare. The person that got on with us should have been on the three o'clock train. She got the four o'clock train. And that doesn't sound a huge like gap. But believe me, when you're in that crush in, and it's really stressful, it is. 
but also you then miss your connecting train. So we were, we were fine compared to some people. Whilst waiting at the front of the barrier, we also had a phone call to say that um, a couple of you and friends had come off their bikes. They wanted a bike trip out to a bike shop and a couple had unfortunately had a bit of an accident and come off. Luckily, Ewan was on her and was, wasn't involved. But obviously that was on our mind on the way back as well. So it was a lovely trip to London, but not such a nice trip back. But yeah, so we got back and then I didn't really vlog anything else. We didn't have anything else in for, for tea and I think... I can't remember what, that was the day we went out and got KFC and had the most disappointing KFC we've ever had. Um, but yeah, so that was that was our trip to London for work. So so yeah, all in all, a good few days. I don't think I went too mad food wise. It was actually quite reasonable. Um, but yeah, back to the grind this week. But I thought I'd just quickly show you a bit of a vlog from last week, and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye.